Okay, uh, number six. It can create community with fans of the retro gaming craze. Yeah, that's right, man. Retro's coming back, man. Like disco. Disco is coming back. You hear me play it? Okay, and uh, number seven. Right now, we need a beta version that can operate at least one or two NES mappers. What are NES mappers? You have all the pictures and uh, the music and uh, the sound effects and, and the text. But you have to have this uh, thing called a mapper. And uh, that's what makes the game operational. Like, uh, you can't have a gun without a... You can't have a... Uh, you can't have a nine without a magazine. It just won't cut it. Okay. Number eight. Sprites can easily be created with programs such as MS Paint, among with others, and can be uh, corrected easily and uh, adhered to the rules of the NES color palette. You see, uh, what I do know uh, about uh, the NES is that, uh, that it was limited to uh, certain colors. It was 8-bit. So that means uh, you can only have uh, just a few colors on here. So uh, I don't think uh, the Crips and the Bloods uh, are going to like that. Okay, and uh, number nine. There are many unused fan-made sprites that have not yet been used in a game before. Is this right? Come on, man. There's got to be somebody who's created like a... Like some nude chick out there who hasn't been used, man. Isn't there like a nude sprite of a uh, Paris Hilton out there, man? Come on, play it, man. Come on, man. At least give me a a sprite, a nude sprite of uh, say like uh, Lindsay Lohan, man. Cause that chick is crazy. Cause if I make a Grand Theft Auto game, man, I gotta make a hoe that looks like Lindsay Lohan. Okay, uh, let's see here. Number 10. It can actually jumpstart someone's career into the gaming world. Wow! That sounds... pretty doped up. Whoever came up with that must have been some smoking some pretty strong lids. Okay here, number 11. If you know where you can download uh, emulate a software, but you don't like the idea of having copyrighted ROMs on your hard drive, you can create new ones from scratch. Cause, uh, you know like uh, the FBI Cyber Crimes Division? They always looking for people c c committing crimes on the internet. That means you, man. You. You. You, Mr. Osama bin Laden. You have these uh, these websites out there, and uh, national security is on your. <laughs> and uh, they're closing in on you. And, uh, don't think that, uh, Barack Obama is gonna let you off the uh, hook, player. Cause just because his middle name is Hussein, man, let me tell you something. Let me remind you, player. Saddam Hussein did not let you in Iraq to train your boys. Because he saw you as a threat to his Iraq, just as America sees you as a threat to the new independent Iraq. And that's a fact, Jack! Okay, uh, and uh, number 12. Games can be made by groups of people and, uh, for example, can be educational games rather than just shoot and kill. Racing, arcade, old-fashioned games.
That's a waste of server space, man. Man, I tell you, man, if they had an intent, if they had a, a, a Nintendo when I was in school, man, I wouldn't have paid more attention to class, man. I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I'd probably be in college, going to parties and stuff, man. I'd be in spring. I'd be at spring break right now and getting laid. Okay, number 13. NES ROM make it as just the beginning of the console game builder project. Future plans include expanding into SNES, Genesis, Game Boy, Game Gear, just to name a few. Super Nintendo, Genesis, and Game Gear. Can't wait till they get to PS3 and uh, Xbox 360. That will be big news. Okay, here. Number 14. The software will be free to use, but if you pay for a console game builder's developer's license, your compiled ROMs will not be tagged, but fan, ba but fan games based on a property that belongs to Nintendo... Sega, Capcom, Square, LucasArts, just to name a few, will be taken down from registered communities if they are not tagged, copyrighted, or distributed without the express permission of the owner. Any ROMs that is tagged as being made with the software can be distributed by anyone. Man, if I make a my own uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, title, uh, I better uh, control uh, who uh, sends it out. Okay, number fifteen. The software is not restricted to someone. For example, living in the parents' basement, this software can be used by the major developers as well as others facing hard times facing hard times you mean like guys in prison they don't have computers okay okay number 16 to make sure the software works we will be the first ones to use it we will make some fan games and will publish a few through re a few games through Retro Zone. Retro Zone, yeah, I know those boys, man. They're the ones making the new NES games, man. I saw them cards, man. I saw this uh, one uh, title called uh, Pirate Booty, and uh, that reminds me, I need to get me some booty. So, uh. Peace out, players, and, uh, crack a <laughs>